Hi guys, I'm Steven Herrera, and today I want to talk about more of an educational issue. I want to talk about student loan debt and the impact that it can have on life choices. The average college graduate has $5,000 per year in student debt payments that they're supposed to be making, but they're only paying about 60% of it. That's because they have to spend a lot of their income paying car payments and credit card payments, which are the main drivers of economic growth. However, because of being saddled with all this debt, people are delaying life choices. For example, maybe they can't afford a house in a good school district, so they'll endure a long commute from the Inland Empire to Los Angeles to go to their job every day. Uh, now, the problem with student loan debt is that it can't be discharged through bankruptcy. So, unless you are a government worker and you qualify for student loan forgiveness, you're pretty much stuck with those student loans. Um, incomes for college graduates have been stagnant since 1970. So, if you're going to go to college and get into debt, in order to get a job that's going to allow you to pay off that debt, you really need to know exactly what you want to be doing in life, what type of a career you want to have, and why it's necessary for you to go to college and get a degree. Because the days of going to college, graduating, and thinking you're going to figure it out after graduation and land a $100,000 job are over. That era is gone forever. So you really need to have a reason why you need to go to college and invest in getting a degree. Having said that, if you do go to college and you've gotten that degree, you've graduated, and you've earned a credential from a top-tier university, then that's a mighty fine accomplishment that nobody can take away from you. So you got to be proud for that. I'm just saying let's think about the student loan debt crisis that exists in the world today and let's reevaluate whether or not there's a need to even go to college at all. So you really need to start with the end in mind and if in fact you do need to get the college degree to give you that credential to move down that career path and so be it. But I'm just saying, be careful what you choose to do.